Okay, I'm just uh, putting the clay on. I don't know how far I'm going to get today. This uh, neck armature is really weak. I should have made that a little tougher, but I didn't. So I'm going to live with it for now. I may have to redo the armature for the uh, head, but that's okay. No big deal. Time to play with some clay. The clay is really hard. I mean, not hard, I mean, it's soft, but it's not soft enough to just slap it on, and uh, because of that, I may have to uh, try to warm this studio up a little bit more than I've already done. I'm leaving the, he the heater on because it is winter time here in Montana. And Montana tends to get a little, well, a little cold in the winter. And uh, that's just the way it is. Ain't Florida. <laughs> That's for darn sure. Anyway, I'm going to continue working on the uh, adding clay onto the piece. I'm going to try to put a little more clay underneath the uh, neck here. Maybe strengthen it up a little bit. This clay is tougher than hell right now. So, I'll just do the best I can with what I got. I may have to let this... Uh, clays harden overnight, or not harden, but stiffen, and then it'll be a little stronger, but then again, I don't know. It may not be. I gotta decide how I'm gonna have this piece also. So I'm just uh, one moment at a time. I'm using one camera because I'm down to just two batteries for my uh, camera cameras and uh, normally I'd have both uh, being used right now but uh, <sighs> if I had one battery run out then I got no battery to replace it I got a some new batteries ordered, but uh, what happened was uh, with these uh, GoPro batteries, they got a little flap of uh, plastic that you pull on to pull the battery out. Let me show you. There's a little flap that sticks out from here, and you're supposed to pull on it to get it out, but it if you, your hands have got clay on them, it's slick, so you can't pull it. And at some point, this has actually, I don't know if it's expanded or what, it goes into the camera real hard and uh, it gets stuck in the camera. So I've ordered some new batteries. Uh, the battery I got right now uh, isn't sticking, so it's probably one I haven't used too much. And uh, I'll just, like I said, take it one day at a time. This will actually strengthen up once I put hair on them and all that stuff. But uh, right now, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to do a, a mountain man, a cowboy, or a, a Indian woman, or an in, a pioneer woman. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to do a Viking. I mean, I don't know what I have come I'm going to do. I'm just sort of letting the clay tell me what it's going to do. And... Uh, I'm not going to take all kinds of uh, 
measurements. I'm just going to go ahead and start sculpting the face and uh, just go from there. I wish this clay was just a little softer. Well, I think I got a solution to my problem here. I've got some real strong copper wire. It's a real stiff wire. And I'm going to stick this up inside the clay here. And that should keep it from flopping over and sideways. So just need to get it positioned right. What I'm thinking of doing right now is uh, having a guy who's an old mountain man and standing out in the rain and he's got a blanket over his head and shoulders to protect him from the rain. And where's my, oh there it is. And uh, I'll, I'll explain it in a second here, let me get this. It's the idea that I got in my head for some reason. I actually started out with the idea, but I didn't know whether I was going to carry it through. <clears throat> there we go. That gives a little stabler. It's not going to be falling over now. But what I'm thinking of doing is, uh, I got this wire here. is uh, having his arm coming up and his hand up here, pulling the uh, blanket against his face. Uh, this side, it'll be out a little bit, but he's going to be looking up at the sky to see if there's a break in the weather. And uh, that's what I'm thinking right now. I mean, it may change completely, but uh, that's the idea right now. And... Uh, We'll see how that turns out. That should hold it pretty good. Mm. I mean, it's still going to be wobbly, but it ain't going to be falling over on its own. Someday I'll learn how to make good armatures. <laughs> mm. I've only been doing it for 50 years, what the heck. Double check my head measurement, make sure I'm not getting too big here. Oh, I'm on a button.
I'm going to figure out the size for the eyeballs. I'm going to make the eyeballs out of uh, that hard, self-hardening clay. I can never remember the name of it. I ought to write it down someplace, I guess. Just trying to establish the size for the uh, eyeballs. And by the way, about three or four episodes ago, I was looking for my favorite tool. I finally found it. It was on the floor down there on the underneath the table. I knew it was in the studio somewhere, but uh, it took a while to find it. <laughs> but eventually I do find it. Make the eyeballs that size. Just establishing the uh, features of the face. I've got this uh, self-hardening clay. It's it's like ceramic clay. It feels like it. It's wet, and uh, it takes about 24 hours for it to uh, harden up. But I, the only reason I'm using it is because then I can build the the eye around it or the eyelids, and it should work out just fine. So that's one. Just need to make another one. That's too too little. I was keeping this clay in a plastic bag to keep it soft, so it wouldn't all harden at once. hardens to a real white finish. A little water smooths it out a little bit. It is a lot like ceramic clay, it's just not ceramic clay. If I can find what I purchased, I'll put the name up of the clay. I got them both the same size. 
pretty darn close. Alright, I'm going to let that sit overnight. So as you can see, I put the armature on for the arm. Whether I've got it up here or someplace else, I don't know. I am just don't know really what I'm doing yet. I'm just kind of... I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to have him doing. I kind of like that movement. I kind of did that on the uh, female of the, uh, the Pioneer Man and the Pioneer, man, Pioneer, Pioneer Woman, and I kind of like the uh, the action. Um, I want to get his uh, hands, his old hands, on here, and uh, yeah, that's about good. I got to quit messing with it because I got wanted to harden. All right, everybody, that's going to be doing it for today, and I'll come back here and see what I can do next time to uh, get this uh, even further. And I'm going to make sure I put these two eyeballs where I can get it later. <laughs> anyway, I, I mean, I've got it started, and uh, I want the clay to stiffen up around the neck. That way it, it'll stiffen up the... Uh, base a little bit. All right, good night. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.